Um, <clears throat> I'll call John Hayes. Mr Chair, maybe I can uh, help <coughs> the member uh, Damien O'Connor because one would have thought that a man of his experience, many years as a minister in our system of government, that he would actually understand the day-to-day -day mechanics of how the government's finances work. And every one of the public servants that you will find in this country knows that when you have a 12-month budget, May and June is spent furiously trying to get rid of all the unspent money, because if it's not spent by the 30th of June, you lose it. This is an incredibly inefficient and stupid process because the world operates on a much longer time frame. And if you think about the problem, for example, let's take the aid program where you're spending 600 plus million dollars a year on aid projects. It's really difficult to spend that sort of amount of money annually on an annual budget. So you've got to have a longer time frame because you will get much more sensible spending of taxpayer money. That is why you and I are in this chamber. This is why we're held accountable as electorate MPs, because our communities expect us to be here doing the right thing, making sure their taxes are being spent wisely. And that's what the changes in this bill are going to provide for. They provide for a much more rational time frame. They get rid of the irrational uh, huge expenditure of, on, very often on wasted uh, items because you're trying to get rid of the money in 12 months when the real world doesn't work in 12 uh, months. Point of order, the Honourable David Cunliffe. The member uh, who is addressing the House is a new member, but he should know not to bring you into debate. Oh, so. Look, um, that's interrupting. I'm listening very carefully, and that's just an interruption of the member's speech. I will take note if, it's, uh, if I'm offended by it. I'll call John Hayes. Thank you, Speaker. Uh, one would have thought that the interrupter, as an ex-public servant himself, would know that what I'm saying is absolutely straightforward, absolutely straight up and down, and is in the taxpayer's interest. So my only conclusion, Chair, is that the comments that are coming from these very experienced people are simply filibustering. Thank you. Uh, the Honourable David Cunliffe. Um, 